is up in the army. I am giving you five comment at you with a brand new video today. I am building another build on slash unboxing another Lego set. Today we are doing something that's not really related to the channel at all. Uh, today we are unboxing building. And pretty much anything other, uh, anything else under the moon. The Lego Ideas number 37 Fender Stratocaster guitar Lego set. Now the reason why this is such a big thing for me is pretty much right behind the camera I have my, my guitarist amp would show you it, but I'm not. And in my other room, I have my guitar. So, and it is literally the exact same guitar. Pretty much. Just pretty much the lower version of it. Just, yeah. Anyway, still, it's pretty much my guitar, and that's, as soon as they announced this, I really wanted it, and, yeah. I know I just had to get it. So, um, it's uh, from the ideas line. It's it recommended for 18 plus. It is set number two one three two nine. It has 1,074 pieces, which I was just saying about this. Now, this part, the red part, it comes in two colors. So all the pieces in red is doubled. So. It says 1,000, but it's pr probably actually not that, and I'm very curious actually how long this will take. So, uh, on this side, we get the guitar again. It also says Lego Ideas number 37. It looks really cool on this side. Then on this side, it has the dimensions of the guitar, not anything else. And it says it is... 14 inches tall by th or 36 centimeters tall. Then width is 4 inches long or 11 centimeters long. So, yeah. Pretty, pretty decent size on the top. It's a little ripped. It has the guitar again though. Then on the back, you see the black version of the guitar. Plus the amp. Then it says um, other stuff about the ideas line. Show your idea. Gather support. Lego review. New Lego product. And yeah, yeah, yada, yada, yada. We have the Fender Stratocaster. And now let's get into this box and see what is inside it. It has to be one of these. <laughs> as push tabs. This is annoying as heck. There we go, got it. Okay, there we go, open. Holy cow. That's everything in this box. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, so we have bag 10, bag 12, bag 8, bag 2, Bag 11, bag 1, this is bag 7 full of red, this is bag number 6, 
This is bag number five. Mm, number nothing. Just has like the strings and stuff. Plus uh, tape. Um, more bag four is more red. Bag three, which is a bunch of little tiny things. Bag six, which has something that has what looks like a dice in it, but it's a little box with something in it, and I don't know what. <laughs> then we have two black str stringly things. Then we have this really big instruction booklet plus stickers. Get this instruction book out of packaging. This is the one big instruction book. So that's the instruction book for the set. Then here are the two sticker sheets. Well, this is like a full sticker sheet, and then this one I think is just for fun. It's Fender Fender's logo, just Lego Five. That's kind of cool. Anyway, there's a lot of stuff. Good God. And there's two bags of red. So a lot of black though. So it's going to be interesting. So without further ado, let's get started building the Lego Fender Stratocaster Guitar Lego Ideas number 37. Let's go!
Okay, so the guitar and amp are now complete. This is honestly gonna be one of the cool coolest belts that I've built over this week. And I've built now three sets. <laughs> I have one to go and it's the biggest of them. The <laughs> big cube. Don't know how I'm gonna I don't know how long that one's gonna take. Anyway, with that, this one is done. It is stunning. Let's first start with the thing that no one cares about. The amp. It still has so much detail in it. It has net most of, I will say most of the stickers did go to the amp. Um no bit annoying with that. But anyway, um we have the um all these were just, this is multiple bricks just making up the front. Then, um, like, there's the, the little, little black cords to make, like, the plug between the guitar and the actual amp and the pedal thing, which I don't actually have one of these for my guitar. But I like that's why I'm saying the pedal thing. I don't really know the full name for it. That is this thing. You guys can't actually see it. You couldn't really see it where I was pointing at it. But um, I, let me just unplug the guitar quickly so I can easily, more easily turn this thing around. On the back of the amp, it's pretty much open, um, fully. It's quite cool and it's pretty, pretty easy to actually get op to open the entire thing. Even the top you can open. So it is pretty darn cool the now that this can open up. But um, yeah. And we'll say once again, just like last year's uh, the build I did last year, the um, the big build that I did, the um, uh, NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System. They did so much detail inside the console and inside the TV and outside the TV. Same thing goes here. They did so much detail on the inside of this amp that. You would have thought this would be the main port part of the actual set. It isn't. It's the secondary thing. The guitar is the main main focus. Is supposed to be the main focus, but this the amp makes you think that it, because of the amount of detail in it. So, uh, yeah. Then, um, as I put all the, the two panels back on, which they are pretty easy to get back, get off and on. Then, um, the top is, is nuts. I will say that the top is absolutely crazy. That's what it looks like on, on the top. It, it literally looks like you can press something and things will happen. Like, it is so, so cool the amount of detail that has gone into this set. And, yeah, I, I don't really know where I'm going to put this yet. <laughs> I will figure it out quite soon because I will show you guys in this video. But, um, yeah. Then we have the guitar. Well, before we actually get to the guitar, I will deal with the uh, thing that was in bag one and only bag one. <laughs> the stand. They included a stand for it, which is actually quite well built. It even is little, little kind of rubberized right here on the stand. It's actually quite neat, and I can't wait to put this on display in this room. I don't know where yet. But it will be in here. That's for sure. Where, I don't know. But it will be in here. It even closes. You can close the stand. Which they really didn't have to do. 
that you can open the stand. And you can place the guitar on the stand. There we go. No. Without further ado, let's get to the guitar. This was um, a, most of it, uh, most of the bricks. Now, I will say, there is actually, if you, depending on which color you do, you will have two extra bags. Uh, I did red, because that's actually what my guitar is in real life. So, um, you get, if you do the red, you get bag five and bag eight left over. I'm not entirely certain what I'm going to do with these. I'm probably going to dump them into something, obviously. But I don't know what yet. These will get put into something. So, with that, um, now let's look at the guitar. As I actually will take out the little thing. So this is the guitar. Now, the hardest thing on this build for me was the um was the strings. You can't really see them that well on camera, but these. This one is off the guitar and I can't figure it out. I haven't been able to figure out how to actually get it on. So I think I need to move like this one them over a little bit, but I don't know how I'm gonna do that. But um like the detail on this is ridiculous. Wait, like, um this focus on the on this part first. So you have the main this is the main body of the guitar that's the neck is hold on one second. <laughs> There we go. All fixed. So, this is the main body of the guitar. It has uh, this thing, I can't remember the name of it, but uh, it's like something that changes the sound, sort of. Um, then we have like all the dials here, the uh, uh, flake. Uh, I've looked at my car guitar in so long I can't remember what that is. Anyway, something there. Uh, volume and stuff, all that would be here. This is where the Ant connects. I just pulled it fully from it, so it's easier to actually get back on it. Then, um, then let's turn. Then, if you turn it over, something that really did not have to do, but they did. They added a sticker back here to make the metal like plate that's behind the neck. It's actually quite cool that they did that. And then, um, here these two white plates cover up the, um, the strings, the ends of the strings and stuff, and, yeah, it is so cool the amount of detail in this thing. <laughs> so, um, then, moving to the neck of the guitar, they have the threat, the, it is threats, yes. Yes, I'm pretty sure I got that right. <laughs> I'm a little rusty. I haven't played guitar in pretty much over a year. So, but I, I, I'm meaning to get back into that. Anyway, um, then uh, there is this little blue thing. If you can't see, you might be able to see that right there uh, on the net, on at the end of the neck. I'm pretty sure that's meant to be like a, a pick. It's pretty cool that that's included. There's multiple actually in the back of this. That's where they told me to put them. I at least I think so. <laughs> anyway, it's pretty cool. They even have the little like um tuning things here. 
they have the ends of the strings here and yeah pretty cool I really really like this build it is honestly one of the coolest builds so far that I've built and it'll be interesting to see if the big ginormous yellow cube which is next it'll be interesting to see if that tops it I doubt it <laughs> Anyway, we are now going to figure out a place to put this. Might be a daunting task. I'm not entirely certain where this is going to go yet. But I will try and figure out a place. If I can't figure out a place, well, then uh, this will be the end of the video. Sort of. I will record something else saying the outro. Anyway, with that, let's uh, cut. Find a place for this. Then, uh, yeah, you get the drill. Let's go. Okay. Hello. Back. Found a spot. <laughs> I found a place. It's not the best place. But it's all the only place that I can physically put it because I now we're putting the cube already. So, yeah. Only place is physically possible to put this and I have the stand in my hand. So, uh, if you don't remember this area, well, I don't really show it that often on camera. This is like the main, like, planning section of my office. Let me lower this a little bit so you can see where it actually is going. Okay, it's going right there. That's why I have this. So let's put it out. Okay, so that's one part. Let me go grab the other part. <laughs> this part two amp. It's the amp. If you didn't, couldn't tell. It's the amp. Might have to move Grogu over slightly. This is the one part of the office that I did not clean. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, might be getting clean pretty soon. <laughs> and now the piece of resistance. The guitar. Ah. Let's not drop it, okay? <laughs> The technically this is not the last piece I have one more. But Okay, there we go. Guitar and amp in No, I just need to go grab the cord. <laughs> This is the cord to the amp. So, from the amp to the guitar. Let me quickly. Okay, there we go. All done. Ta da! It's in! <laughs> okay, so with that, that will conclude this build video area that thing. With that, guys, I hope to see you all in the next video. This is the next build that I'm doing, this thing. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> because all my computers now have clips from the other two builds. Uh, so, I have no idea where this is going to, this one is going to go. Then I have to build this and figure out where it's going to go, and this will probably take two days. This one took one day. Still wearing the same top from the beginning. <laughs> well, I could have just saved the top after, well, yeah, anyway. With that, I'm giving you a fast sign off. 
Hope to see you all in the next video. And goodbye!